Now a plant of Canora Challenger that we've left the grain tip in. It was a young plant, you see it's produced a bud. Now, some might say it's not a problem, but it is to me. Um, the thing we've got here is we've produced breaks in the axle. And when you go further down the plant, we've got side shoots as well. Now, probably I should have just cut it down like the others um, and encourage those to come stronger. But what I'll probably do, just to cover both eventualities, at least take that out and then try and sort of play it safe in a way with these side shoots, although they're not particularly strong. It's just pinching back to a single pair of leaves at the base. Here's your sitting down. And the same on this side. And probably just leave it at, at that. A weak shoot there. Take out. So when it comes to brake selection, then if I fill with these upper shoots, so I'll slug that. Upper shoots are um, at the right stage of development and aren't going to bud too early. I'll leave them if I need to. I'll go further down and the ones that have just pinched back um, I'll grow those on as being the flowering shoots if these are likely to bud before I want them to um, so less than ideal for me I'd rather do one or the other and not somewhere in between it's the danger of uh, trying to grow things sort of on a natural stop so hopefully these are level up and I'll be able to do that on each plant, at least cover, cover my bets on the plants that I've cut the tops out early. Um, it'll be easier, I'll just do what I've been doing to all the others and chop those back. But it's, it's no big problem either way. We try to do these things for, for the better of the flower, but end up quite often tripping over um, ourselves doing it. This is a plant of Canora Valentine. It's one that we've just single stopped um, recently. As you can see, that's the stem that's been taken out. Now what happens generally with these sort of varieties is that they will always throw shoots early from the base. Which is one, two, three, and a bit there. Now they're likely to be far too early to do anything with, but further up the plant, you can see there's some small shoots. Now I'll leave these side shoots in, these lower ones, at the moment just to sort of hold back the ones in the centre of the plant. Now I'm only going to be growing this probably two to three up, um, so I can, I'll play it safe and leave some of these in a bit longer. Um, I may well, on one or two of them, actually prune them back just to give me a, a second option if I feel these are coming early um, and when it comes to about um, second third week of July I'll, I'll make some decisions and start removing some shoots to the ones I want and ideally I, I just want these for the national so it's quite an early show it's not the earliest of varieties I may well just go down to one from that pair one from this pair and one from uh, a chop back on one of these side shoots to give me a stagger of timing and over 30 plants I should be able to spread it over the week that the National's in um, and, and hit it timing wise I'm just about now to, to properly double stop the ones that were stopped before um, and that will give me a, a later following naturally anyway 
So here's one that was um, stopped first. Has a clean stop, and what that does do for you is give you an even growth um, away from that stop. And as you can see, there's some quite um, sensible shoots there. Reasonably powerful. Now, it's a, it's a giant, or oh, I'm growing it as a giant, so I'm not going to want huge numbers of shoots. Um, so, in this case, I'll strip it down, um, probably just to three or four stems, and obviously leaving the strongest ones um, before I then prune those back. There's that one there. Sorry about the shaking around. I have one hand and I'll set one of those out in the middle I think it's better just to completely remove them if you can you just don't really want more shoots coming from the ones that you've left behind so that's done that there's another one there we took that down to to four shoots. Then out comes a knife and takes those one two three. Always end up cutting through the old leaf while you're there. Got some of the lower leaves that have got a bit covered over. Let's take those off. And that leaves us with four shoots chopped back, um, and that'll just give us a slightly later following. And again, it's, it's options. We only want three, I only really want three flowers from 30 plants. What I'll make sure of is that I don't have to then mess about with these shoots later on, knocking them back. I'm growing it as a giant, it's not naturally the biggest. Um, so I just want to either chop it and grow it, or grow it as naturally as I can, given the, the choice I have with the range of plants. So it always looks a bit cruel, but I'm hopefully not growing giants for a few years, should get away with it. Wednesday the 28th I think, it's certainly Wednesday, um, time to catch up on the dahlias, or get ahead more likely, and um, where I've got lots of uh, one variety like this one, Hillcrest Candy, um, I don't really want all 40 to flower at the same time and I'm not really sure um, whether they're going to bud correctly on this stop a week later or a week before. Um, so what I've done, I've just took back uh, one row of 20 of them and then next week, um, probably next Wednesday, I'll take back the other row so that at least there is a bit of a stagger on the shoots between them. And it may save a bit of work when it comes to knocking them back or it may mean it saves me taking a gamble on next week. Um, other varieties where I'm growing 20s and te a few that are 10s probably on the large um, mostly these three beds here are, are large semis. Um, you can see I've took the whole lot back in one go because I can bury it if I need to on the bud. I really only want them for the national, um, which is a touch early this year. Same there, they've all been took back. Satricia, Jubilee, uh, Hillcrest, Hilton, um, Susan Carey. Uh, Trooper Dan there and the new Hillcrest there. I've left the challenges. Um, generally, I've took one or two back that were starting to bud where I'd left them on the crown bud, but I'll probably take all of those back next week and maybe hold on to a few a week after. I drive they flowered a little bit late, tend to always um, give you a few buds when you want them because I don't want to be uh, chopping it back or knocking it back any further. So I tend to leave that later than the others. Now this is a plant of BJ Beauty. Um, I got some new stock in this year uh, from a, a non-dahlia grower that happened to have it growing in his uh, flower beds. And it was tall, full flowered, 
and healthy. Um, so I managed to get a couple of tubers off him. I mean, it's, it seems to be um, where stock is rested before it starts degrading um, and it's just left to grow and flower. It will actually hold or improve. Um, I'm trying to cover myself on this. I've, I've got the original tubers just planted in the bed that I'm just watering. I'm not going to be chopping them about, throwing feed at them and insecticide. Just leave them to, to establish a tuber even further. Um, but I'm, I'm very pleased with the health of the stock. Um, I've never grown it. It was sort of a bit before my time. I was too busy growing palms. But considering, obviously, the plant is, is quite well buried down there, um, there's some good, powerful shoots in there. Um, I purposely just took a, a quite a hard first start. So I've only got really about four shoots, um, four to six shoots on the plant. I've been told um, this is one to grow about seven up. Um, so I'll, I'll go with that. I've got 30 plants and I'll probably, um, also because um, I've known it to be quite early and early to bud, although these shoots aren't really showing too much sign of that, um, I'll do half and half, so half this week, half next week. And where I've only got four, I'm not going to go down to the um, one pair per shoot because I'm never going to get the numbers or the choice. So on this, it's quite simply two pairs per stem and you can see the sort of weight of, of stem that's coming out there um, which gives me some confidence that this stock is good um, so it's two three four and again just check we cut any leaves like I just have so they'll only wilt on the plant um, and here's a bit of bit of rubbish so then we'll take that out and find where it's coming from no point in, in putting any energy into that um, it's never going to make a flower or a sensible flower compared to what we've just cut off so that's that done and there's no real variance on, on how I do these things it's still pretty much a chop, it's just how hard um, to get the number of breaks that I want and that should now grow on quite well